interesting and exciting. I'm sure they'll find it interesting and exciting. Richie's on the outside pole alongside comeback kid Larry Fagram. Veteran Steve Moorhead, number 42. Joe Roeder is 66. Billy Herndon, number 19. And down on the inside of that front row is number 24, Brian Valella. 10-lap heat race with the top two to go to the main event. We'll keep our eyes on Graham, who is looking for that fifth consecutive national win. The heat race could set it up. They are away. Moorhead got a jackrabbit start. Oh, Graham, what do you do? Missed the gear there. Didn't get it hooked up very quickly, and he's about fourth going into the corner. Looks like Dale Gentleman coming up on the inside of him. Roeder has the third spot, and Pegram is out in second place. A good start for Larry, who's come back from a bad crash in the road race season opener at at Phoenix, here's Graham trying to get inside Rotor as they dive across that little depression down in turn three. Ooh, Graham gets loose for a moment. Look at that. Drives by Rotor, drives by Pegram. Man, that thing hooks up. He's going around the inside like it's on rails. I mean, he's able to do what the other two motorcycles weren't able to do. He made it look easy. So are you prepared to speculate as to why he's able to do that? I've been speculating about that all summer long. <laughs> <laughs> Wish you knew the answer. Oh, problem for Rotor. He slips off the groove and goes wide and will lose a spot. As they head down the backstretch, Gordy Chopre now looks at the rear wheel of Rotor while number 19, Billy Herndon was the big winner in that, and here comes Pegram back around the inside, trying to get the spot. Just like you said, he can't hold it down low. He slips wide, and Graham's got the position. Graham's motorcycle just flat handles. Up the straightaway, Pegram tries him again, and now Moorhead looks on the outside. A terrific five-rider battle in order at the moment. It is Graham, Pegram, Herndon, and Moorhead side by side, and Rotor out back. Moorhead got the better drive out of two to take over third. Pegram again looks up the inside, and he has given Ricky Graham fits here, and that's impressive because he's coming off a broken left leg. You don't have to watch this game very long to realize that left leg is pretty important. You use it as an outrigger to get through the corners. Graham, with the combination of horsepower and handling, is keeping Pegram at bay, but Larry Pegram's doing a heck of a job given the injury that he's sustained. He talked about that before the Syracuse mile. Oh, uh, just getting my confidence built back up and getting my legs strong enough to where, you know, I feel confident that I can run into the corner as hard as I want and, and have the bike maybe make a mistake and, and me still be able to correct it, you know. I'm not really confident with my leg or, or haven't been. I'm starting to be now that I can pretty much go in the corner, make a mistake and still be able to, you know, control the bike with, the, with my leg the way it is. He said it better than I did. The leg is not so much an outrigger. It's uh, it's like a safety margin there. It gets you out of trouble if you get yourself in trouble. And I think he hit it very well because when he runs it into the corner, the bike tends to get away from him, and he has to save it. Yeah, exactly. This track has some ruts going into each corner, and when it gets unweighted and sideways, you want that security of having that outrigger out there. His other problem is Steve Moorhead. This is a great race. We'll be right back. Stretch at something close to 130 miles an hour. Ricky Graham over Steve Moorhead and Larry Pegram. Not for long. Here comes Moorhead. Whoa! Here comes Pegram. A clown. I bet that maneuver needs a name. We see it a lot on the mile where the third place guy follows the second place guy and ends up being the first place guy. You got any good ideas? And that's what you call a double draft. And Larry's making that uh, recovering leg of his feel a lot better right now. He is feeling no pain. A double draft. I'll buy that. And see what happens. The leader comes by the start-finish line and gets drafted right back by the two guys he just passed on the backstretch. This is why I love Grand National Motorcycle Racing so much. Terrific competition. And let us not forget number 19, Billy Herndon, as this lead trio of Graham, now the leader, Moorhead the runner-up, and 72, Larry Pegram, continue to beat up on each other and stir the air. Number 19, Herndon, has been able to inch up there in their draft and make this a four-man battle. Now, can he pass any of them? Well, we'll see. They go three wide. Moorhead takes the lead. If you've just joined us, remember the top two positions are critical. Those are the guys that are going to get the transfer to the main event when there will be 17 guys out there doing this. Oh, you got any theories at this point? Who's the strong cat here? Well, if history serves, you've got to say Ricky's been the dominant guy, but I don't know. Moorhead looks real strong 
too. And this is his kind of racetrack. He's excellent on the grooves. I wouldn't count Moorhead out. He's excellent on the half-mile grooves. Moorhead's had trouble. We're going to the white flag lap. One lap to go. Moorhead's had trouble the last few years getting enough horsepower, it seemed, to keep up on the mile tracks. But this year, he's been tough on the big ovals. He's been very tough, and he's had his best year in a long time on the miles. And I still am not going to count him out. He's in third place, but one more corner. Yeah, he's making a move. He's getting in position. This is going to be interesting at the end. He comes up the inside, takes that critical second spot. Through that little turn three dip they go. Graham has gotten away. Can Moorhead catch him? I think Pegram is history. I believe it's a battle for the lead. Here comes Moorhead up the inside. Oh, too close to call. I don't know. Moorhead definitely got by. Did he get by before the start-finish line? That's the question. No. The camera at the finish line shows Graham the winner by inches. 